You want me to say how the world has changed in, in, twin, in, in 30 years, you know? And, <clears throat> um, and I've, I, yes, I've, well, I've already said that, um, that I'm glad I'm not 11 years old, you know, and I'm glad that, and because it is a, going to be a problem. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think how to, how to say it again. Um, I think I think what I I mean I know that what I said was that um, that I was pessimistic about about society, but that I thought individuals would would be all right. Um, I I I, don't, I think well let's try it and we'll see we'll see what happens. Um, People today seem much more concerned about uh, the difficulties of life even than they were in the 70s. I can remember that nobody was that, uh, that sure about how everything was going to work out for them, but there, I suppose we all thought, we all thought that we had a, 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 a good run ahead of us, that there were lots of, you know, there would be lots of opportunities. Um, this wasn't going to be the age of the depression. And, and so you could afford to go out into the world. You could afford to take jobs in strange places. Um, you could become something. Um, nowadays, I'm told, and I, it's really hard for me to judge, but people tell me that, um, that that, that there's a sense that it's all too difficult. That, that just holding on to a job is really difficult. That, um, that everybody's working too hard. Uh, that holding on to houses is almost impossible. That, that education is getting worse. That all, all, these, all these social functions that we thought we're going to get better and better are no longer working. And, and uh, that is you know, certainly one of the reasons why I think this is a great time to be, to be somewhere else and, and not here. I can't see any way that this is going to really get much better because there are so many people in the world now and that became so terribly obvious when I was on the second journey. And in case it hasn't become clear through the books that I've written, um, just the mere fact of trying to find people or find places on the second journey around the world was, was re really a, a monstrous problem because the towns had grown so big and the, the sprawl in the country was so great that it was uh, really like finding a needle in a haystack sometimes. And so, very clearly, this is a world that's got to go through some very s sort of major changes. Whether, th whether we can do that without having big wars and famines and so on, I don't know. But it's, it's certainly a very difficult world to, if you're, if you're trying to achieve the same kind of success that we used to take for granted in the in the 70s. And so maybe the right way to deal with all this is to change what your notion of success is and stop thinking in terms of rising to the top of some dazzling career or, or <coughs> becoming the, um, the owner of a large estate or even just uh, retiring gracefully with a with a house that's paid for and your children around you and so on. I think these ideas of a of a successful life might have to change, and it might be better to think more in terms of success as an individual, be feeling free to to survive. I think the key to feeling successful these days is to have very low overheads, to have almost no 
costs that you have to cover, like payments for cars and payments for houses and payments for television sets and things like that, and that you, you know, so that so that your the daily the daily cost of living is as low as possible, and then everything that you do get is free, is stuff to use, is something you can play with, <coughs> and um, that's pretty much the way I've planned my life at any rate, and it seems to have worked quite well. And I think that might be the best way out of this problem. But it won't uh, solve society's problems, it will just solve your problems. And well, you know, that's good enough. Thank you.